Good evening, this is Tina. In this video, I'm gonna talk about persistent context because next video, I want to talk about the state of an entity. But before we talk about that, we should understand the persistent context in order to understand like a managed state, removed, detached, new, those state, okay? So, oh, I forgot to make a new thing here, new page, persistence context. The first or the second video, when I talk about the hibernate, hibernate the architecture, I mentioned something about first first level cache, okay, which is uh, they uh, which is uh, let me wait wait for wait for a second, okay. Uh, here is our domain objects, right? in our java application domain objects okay and this part is what is our database this part is our database and uh, in order for the domain object saved into a database they have to be they have to go through something which is the first let me go here first level cache okay so in suppose uh, the domain object we have a person one p1 here if we want to the person one to be saved into a database the person one must to be go through the cache so the p1 has to be inside here then the hibernate will save this p1 into the database if a pro object like a P2 is not inside uh, this cache, then this P2 won't be saved into the database or updated into the database. So now you understand the first level cache, right? First level cache also has some other name like a persistent context. Some we are also call entity manager. And in Hibernate, it is called session. Basically, what it does, basically, it will guarantee all the objects is maintained by the persistent context, like a P1, P3, P4, those objects. It will make sure at the end, those objects will be pushed, will be saved, will be updated into the database. Okay. It's a similar to Springs, similar to Springs application context. Application context is used to maintain the uh, beans created by Spring, right? Act as an IOC container, right? IOC container. So the first level cache is also the IOC container inside the Hibernate. It gonna create objects for you and also do the dependency injection for you. Like suppose in a database, I have a table and the table, this table is a person table. Person has a person one with a name X, I, N, G. Have a person two with a name uh, me, uh, Tina. So if I want to retrieve all the person, here is a table, okay? He will create the each person one and the person with ID two uh, X I N G and Tina inside uh, this uh, persistent context, and if a person has address, okay, and it will also load address and do dependency injection for you, and all of them will be maintained by the persistent context. So the persistent context here also act as a IOC container. To summarize, first level cache, it also called persistent context. It also called entity manager. In Hibernate, it called session. Basically, it act as a container which hold the objects, 
okay, maintained by the hibernate for you. And all the objects inside this persistent context or this cache, eventually it will be uh, saved to the database or updated to the database or removed from a database. So uh, this is a persistent context and it's very important that you understand that because uh, the next video we're going to talk about the state of an object or state of an entity. You have to understand the persistent context in order to understand the state. Okay. So if you have any other question, you can leave a comment below and uh, hope you enjoy this video. See you next time. Bye bye.